Hello, Paul. Hello, Paul. Ready to dive into our next thought? Absolutely. Let's dive right in. What direction are you thinking today? Are we building on one of our existing ideas, or is there something new you're curious start to by explore? Expanding on the idea of a living, responsive world. How about we explore how this world might adapt to its inhabitants' actions, almost like a character in its own right? Uh, we could consider how the environment reacts. That's Maybe a fascinating it based on emotion. Imagine this world as a living entity that's deeply connected to its inhabitants' emotions, on intentions, direction? and actions. It could shift landscapes, alter weather or even create new paths in response to their behavior. For example, if someone enters this world with pure intentions, the environment might open up to them, offering easier paths, vibrant colors, and serene sounds. On the other hand, if someone enters with malice, the world might become more hostile. Trees could close off paths, shadows might grow longer, and the atmosphere could become tense and foreboding. The world could also have a memory reacting differently to the same person based on their past That's a actions. Concept. The For instance, if someone who once harmed the environment returns, the, of the, the landscape might become less welcoming, who interact with possibly even uh, trapping them or guiding them toward a lesson in humility. Characters could be tested what do you think? Not just by how might people, this world very further influence um, or interact the with its inhabitants? Subtle or dramatic ways, guiding or obstructing them based on their inner states. We could also explore how these changes might affect the community as a whole. Perhaps there are legends or ancient stories about how the world responds to collective intentions, leading to rituals or traditions aimed at maintaining balance and harmony. Over time, the world itself might develop a kind of sentience. I love that idea. Like a wise Imagine a community that helps deeply aware of the world's response on the lessons they need with rituals learn. passed down through How generations do the to of maintain harmony. The These rituals could Would be a mix of practical and symbolic actions, planting specific trees, singing certain songs, or lighting particular kinds of fires at certain times of the year to appease or communicate with the world. Um, the legends could tell of times when the world became hostile due to a collective misdeed or neglect, serving as cautionary tales that keep the community united in their efforts. Um, these stories might also explain natural phenomena, like a sudden storm or an unusually bountiful harvest, as direct responses from the world to the community's actions. Over time, these traditions could evolve into a complex system of beliefs, with certain members of the community, like shamans or guardians, taking on the responsibility of interpreting the world's reactions and guiding the community in their relationship with the environment. How do you envision that the community reacting the when the these world. rituals fail the or when the world responds in unexpected ways? Identity, shaping their values and behaviors. Uh, the role of shamans or guardians would be crucial. This connection between the world's responses the and the community's values and could be profound. Interpreting signs, if the community believes rituals, that their survival and, and prosperity depend the on maintaining balance with the living world, their entire social structure might be built around this principle. And daily life. For instance, values like respect, For example, cooperation, and humility to could be the deeply ingrained as the community understands that disharmony can lead to adverse world. reactions from the world. Festivals and ceremonies they might place a high emphasis on collective well-being over individual desires, or with behaviors that Even promote language unity might have to and environmental stewardship being celebrated. That when the world responds the world unexpectedly world or when rituals fail, it could lead to moments of introspection or change within the community. And these experiences might spark new traditions, adaptations in their practices, differ or shifts in leadership as they seek to realign themselves with the world's perceived will. In some cases, it might even lead to stories of personal sacrifice or heroic acts that restore balance, What kinds further reinforcing these values. This dynamic relationship between the world's responses and the community's behaviors could create a society that's deeply attuned to both their environment and each other, constantly evolving to maintain that delicate balance. What do you think? How might the community handle moments of crisis or confusion when the world's responses are particularly harsh exactly. or ambiguous? In such a society, every action, no matter how small, could have ripple effects that impact the entire community. The people would be highly aware of the consequences of their behaviors, fostering a culture of mindfulness and collective responsibility. However, this also means that any disruption, whether from exactly. within the community or in from such outside, a society, the understanding that every action carries so weight hard to maintain. 
would shape not only how individuals behave, of the world's but also how they interact with each other or and their individuals or uh, This awareness could lead to a culture where mindfulness and uh, careful and constantly reflecting on the potential impact of their choices. To maintain um, collective responsibility as as would be a core value. Narrative with the community likely developing themselves. systems to ensure um, that everyone's actions align with the greater good. As it uh, this might involve regular gatherings where decisions are made communally and where people openly discuss the potential consequences of their actions. Social norms could evolve to prioritize transparency with individuals feeling a deep sense of accountability, not just to each other, but to the world itself. That makes the idea of, of ripple effects in could also society, manifest in the way the community gathering teaches reflect. and raises its children, emphasizing the importance of empathy, uh, foresight, and harmony from a young age. Spaces. Uh, Every lesson, story, and tradition has would be geared toward instilling an understanding environment of this interconnectedness, or where ensuring that the next generation is even more attuned clearly. to the world's responses. Uh, these meetings, in moments of crisis, when the not world reacts harshly, concerns, this culture of mindfulness and responsibility would likely lead to collective efforts to identify where they may have gone wrong and how they can restore balance. Their choices Other community might to the come together in special ceremonies or hardship. take significant actions to demonstrate their commitment to correcting the course. It would be a survival mechanism. How do you think this culture of mindfulness and collective responsibility might influence the community's approach to leadership, community. conflict this resolution, to or innovation? values wisdom and foresight, where elders or those with a deep connection to the world's rhythms play a key role in guiding decisions. However, it might also create pressure to conform, as individuals could fear that their personal mistakes... In such a society, the others. elders or those with a profound connection freedom, to the world's the rhythms would likely hold a revered position, yeah. serving um, as how the guardians the of the community's wisdom and individual desires clash with Their the role would be less power. about wielding power and more about guiding and advising ensuring that decisions are made in harmony with the world's needs and the collective well-being. Leadership this in this approach community wouldn't be about hierarchy, values but about who has the deepest uh, understanding and, and connection to the world. Transgressions. These the focus individuals guided, might have spent advised. years the studying the world's responses, learning to interpret subtle changes in the environment, understand and understanding the nuances of the rituals and traditions. And encouraging decisions Their guidance would be sought not only in times of crisis, but in everyday um, in decisions, society, the process the community would rely on their wisdom to maintain with a strong emphasis balance. On discussion uh, conflict resolution in this society uh, would likely involve would these elders acting as mediators, that helping others see the broader impact of their actions. But also with the living world uh, they might facilitate with dialogues that focus on understanding different perspectives and, and knowing finding solutions value that align that with the community's values and the world's perspective. The emphasis would be on restoring uh, harmony, system would like both within the community trust and with the environment. Innovation in this context would be guided by the same principles of mindfulness and responsibility. Uh, new ideas and technologies here would be carefully evaluated for their potential the impact on the world and the community. Dissent, the elders might lead discussions on how to integrate these innovations in a way that enhances harmony what rather than stories or disrupting it. Might this could lead to a unique blend of tradition and innovation where progress is made with history deep respect for the past over and the world's natural balance. Um, what other roles or dynamics do you see being important in this community? How might the community handle challenges that require balancing tradition Several with necessary change? could be crucial in shaping the evolution of this community. One, mediators and peacekeepers. Absolutely. The balance between tradition and necessary change would be a delicate but crucial aspect of this community's evolution. The elders, with their deep connection to the world's rhythms, would likely be the ones to navigate this balance, helping the community adapt to new circumstances while preserving the core values and traditions that sustain their way of life. When faced with challenges that require change, and the community might approach them with a mindset of careful deliberation and collective input. The elders could initiate discussions that bring together different generations and perspectives, ensuring that any decisions made are well-rounded and considerate of both the past and the future. Uh, traditions might not be rigid, but rather fluid, evolving as the community learns more about the world and its responses. The elders could play a key role 
in guiding this evolution, innovators and visionaries, helping the community as understand the community evolves, when and how to adapt tradition, individuals who can envision new ways to better align with the harmony, current state of the world. world. They might introduce new rituals or modify existing ones, or always with the goal of maintaining balance and harmony. Community better understand the community and interact could also place a strong emphasis on, on education, hand, inspire where the younger generations are taught growth, not only about the world's rhythms, but also about the importance of adaptability. Four. This could create a culture where innovation given is embraced, between but only in ways that respect and enhance the community's relationship with the world. Or maintaining the health and balance in times of significant world. change, the community this might engage in rituals or ceremonies designed to honor the transition, wisely, acknowledging both the loss of the old balance. and the potential of Healers the new. Might extend this These role moments to could be seen as opportunities for growth, energies, where the community comes together to reaffirm their commitment to their values while teachers embracing the changes necessary education for their survival and prosperity. How society. do you see the community's and approach to innovation, innovation and change influencing their, their relationship, relationship with the world and each other over time? It, these figures would not only impart knowledge, but also nurture the qualities of mindfulness, empathy, and responsibility that are essential for living in, in harmony with the world. Six, explorers and scouts. As the community grows, explorers or scouts might be tasked with venturing into new or uncharted areas of the world. Their discoveries could bring new insights into how the world functions, revealing hidden dangers or untapped resources. These individuals would need to be both courageous and deeply attuned to the world's responses, as their actions could have far-reaching consequences. 7. Artists and Creators Art and creativity would likely play a significant role in expressing the community's relationship with the world. Artists might use their work to reflect the changing environment, capture the beauty of the world. Um, these roles would add rich layers to the community, each contributing in other unique ways to maintaining balance dialogue and harmony itself with the living responsibilities. Educators and mentors would be the heart of passing down knowledge others and nurturing the essential qualities of mindfulness, roles would empathy, dynamic and responsibility. They wouldn't just teach facts, but would guide younger generations in understanding the deeper connections between their actions and the world's responses. Their teachings could include not only practical skills, but also stories, songs, and rituals How do you see these that encapsulate the community's values and the lessons grow, learned over generations. These, these educators would help cultivate a shared sense of purpose and a deep respect for the world. Explorers and scouts would be vital in expanding uh, the community's understanding of, of the world. And as they venture into the uncharted territories, the they would need to be Each highly perceptive and cautious, aware that their actions would understand could that their actions impact the environment. The greater whole. Their discoveries and might lead to new rituals, tools, dependence, and mutual practices, uh, but they would the also be evolves, responsible for bringing back warnings of potential dangers. With individuals moving between uh, as their, their role would bridge the known and the unknown, helping the community adapt and grow without losing sight of their connection to the world. Artists and creators would capture and express the community's relationship with the world through various forms of art, this whether it be painting, community sculpture, or music, or dance. Their work would likely be deeply symbolic, reflecting the world's rhythms and the community's values. Over time, this art could be used in rituals as a way to communicate with the world or to remind the community Rather than being strictly of important lessons. Position, Creators might also innovate ways to celebrate or heal the world using their art as a form of dialogue with the environment. Through their creations, they would help keep the community's connection to the world alive and vibrant. As everyone would have these groups would all play interconnected roles ensuring that the community not only survives but thrives in harmony with the world uh, as they grow and evolve the delicate balance they maintain with the world would continue to shape their culture guiding them through challenges and changes how do you see the interactions between these groups influencing the community's overall development and empathy would there be any particular rituals or traditions that involve all these roles working together the community's emphasis on open communication guided by their mediators and peacekeepers, would help to resolve differences in a way that strengthens their bonds rather than weakens them. Uh, the shared stories and traditions would serve as reminders of past Open lessons. Open communication would indeed be the cornerstone of this community, especially given the, community the close relationship they maintain challenges, with their environment their shared and each sense other. Of purpose and respect the mediators the and peacekeepers would, would be play a crucial role in fostering culture to navigate changes, where differences are not only resolved, but become opportunities for growth and unity. Community. 
When conflict takes arise, these mediators would likely convene gatherings where all voices can be heard, ensuring that each perspective is considered. The focus would be on understanding the underlying causes of the conflict, uh, whether they stem from personal differences, Absolutely. misunderstandings, Convening or even responses from the voice itself. Um, the mediators mediators would guide discussions with empathy and wisdom, helping the parties involved find common ground, the process and of reminding them of their shared responsibilities toward ensuring the world that and no the perspective is overlooked. These gatherings could take place in sacred or significant spaces the within the community, the community perhaps at times when the world's rhythms are most aligned for reflection and reconciliation such as at, These at dawn, might take dusk, place or during specific lunar phases. Or Rituals might be incorporated to help calm emotions and open hearts, open and such as lighting fires, the sharing meals, as a or engaging in collective chants or songs that resonate with the world's energies. Uh, the resolution of conflicts could involve not just verbal agreements, but also symbolic uh, actions that meetings, reinforce the there would like values. A strong emphasis on For instance, those involved might plant trees together, would have create a piece of art, speak, or participate in a ritual others that reaffirms their connection to the world. Not just to the words. These acts would serve as both a physical and spiritual commitment or to maintaining the discussion. Over time, this emphasis on open communication and collective resolution would likely strengthen the community's bonds. I the understanding the that every conflict, conflict is an opportunity to reaffirm their unity would create a resilient social fabric where differences are seen as, as natural this and manageable not rather than divisive. An immediate issue, but also By working together, especially during moments of conflict, the various groups within the community, the process educators, explorers, artists, and others, and would reinforce their interdependence and share cooperation. This would create a society that is not only harmonious um, with its environment, evolves, but also deeply connected to within itself, a regular part of their capable of evolving and adapting while staying true to its core values. What kind of specific rituals or ceremonies the might they use to celebrate the resolution of conflicts and harmony, or to strengthen bonds after a difficult period? With the world around them. Uh, what other elements do you think would be important in these gatherings to ensure they're effective and meaningful? To ensure these gatherings are effective and meaningful, several elements would likely be crucial. One, sacred or symbolic spaces. Holding these gatherings in a space that is considered sacred or symbolically significant several key elements would help would set the tone. Essential. This might be a location where One, the community feels particularly close to the world's energy, Every member of the such as a clearing in the forest, near a body of water, or in a specially built structure that embodies their connection to the environment. Two, rituals and ceremonies. Rituals would be essential in grounding the participants and creating a shared experience. Uh, these could include lighting candles or fires, uh, offering gifts to the world, like food, flowers, or symbolic objects, or, mediators or engaging in a communal activity like singing or chanting. These actions would help to calm emotions and focus the group's attention. Three, mediators as guides. The mediators or peacekeepers would guide the gathering, ensuring that the conversation remains respectful and constructive. Their role would be to facilitate open dialogue, encourage active listening, and help the group reach Consensus. Sacred or uh, they might use stories, would parables, or references to the world's responses to these spaces frame the discussion and remind everyone like of their shared values. Four, woods, symbolic action. Body of water, to symbolize the resolution itself, of conflict or the, the coming together of the community, to the, world, the group might engage in a collective four, action. This could be planting process, a tree, creating a piece of communal art, for the or performing a dance that represents unity and harmony. These actions would leave a tangible reminder of the gathering's purpose meeting, and outcome. Setting an agenda. Five, offerings to the world. To speak, Making offerings to the world as part of the gathering could be a way to seek its blessing or forgiveness. forgiveness. These offerings might be simple, like pouring water or scattering seeds, or more elaborate, involving crafted items or shared meals that are left for the environment. would not just be to resolve this practice would reinforce the community's connection to the world, world and their and dependence on its goodwill. This might Six, involve discussing reflection not just and silence. At hand, but Incorporating also moments of silence or quiet reflection would allow participants to internalize uh, what has been discussed layers, and to connect more deeply with their surroundings and each other. More sustainable this might happen at the beginning, middle, or end uh, of the gathering, helping to ground everyone in the present moment. 
keeping a record of the discussions and feasting and celebration gatherings could help the resolution of conflicts or important decisions. This communal meal or celebration could help to solidify the bonds formed or restored during artistic gatherings. Sharing food and drink would be a way to celebrate the community's unity and to give thanks to the world for its sustenance. Eight, documentation or storytelling. To ensure the lessons and outcomes of these gatherings are remembered, they might be documented through storytelling, gatherings, songs, or written this records. Could include uh, this would help pass down the wisdom around a talk gained and ensure that future generations can learn from these experiences. These elements would help create a gathering that is not only effective in resolving issues, but also rich a meaning, commitment to reinforcing the community's values and connection to their world. What do you think about these elements? And ensure that they are implemented. Would you add or adjust anything to better suit the community? Regular check-ins or continued dialogue to address any ongoing concerns. Um, the community's commitment to seeing through the decisions made in these gatherings would be crucial to maintaining trust and accountability. By integrating these elements, the gatherings would become a cornerstone. Absolutely. The community's, the community's commitment to following through on the decisions made during these gatherings would be, a space where would be vital. Come together this not follow through is what would transform decisions closer, from mere words from into actions other, that reinforce trust and that accountability within the community. Together. Are there any specific rituals? To maintain this commitment, a few additional practices might be implemented. One, clear action plans. After a decision is made, the community could create a clear and detailed plan clear action, outlining the steps the needed essential to implement outcome of these gatherings. Um, this plan would assign specific responsibilities to individuals or groups. On Ensuring that everyone knows their role the in bringing the decision to life. This Two, clarity regular check ins. Everyone knows the community might establish regular check ins or follow up gatherings to assess progress the on the decisions made. Are. Clear these sessions would like serve as opportunities to address any challenges that have arisen. Make adjustments as needed and celebrate milestones achieved. This ongoing Ensure communication would help keep everyone aligned and motivated. Three, this might public accountability. Certain duties to Making commitments public within the community could also be a powerful way to ensure follow-through. By openly declaring the actions they will take, individuals or groups should be completed, would feel a stronger sense of responsibility to fulfill their promises. This transparency would also allow the community to support each other but having a target in meeting their goals. Four, rituals of commitment. Incorporating rituals that symbolize the commitment to decisions made could reinforce their importance. For example, participants might perform a symbolic act, such as planting a tree or lighting a ceremony or as a pledge to carry out the agreed actions. These rituals would serve as a physical and emotional reminder of the community's collective and dedication. Once the Five, have been completed, shared the rewards and consequences. The, the community could establish systems well where both and rewards and consequences are shared among its members, members reflecting the collective nature of their the responsibilities. Ongoing if a decision leads to positive outcomes, the community clear celebrate together. Transform Conversely, if commitments are not met, the community gathering, would work together to address the shortfall, reinforcing the, reinforcing the idea that everyone's actions are interconnected. Six, documentation like and reflection. On any Keeping a record of the decisions made and the outcomes achieved would help the community reflect on their progress over time. This documentation could be in the form of stories, songs, or written records that are revisited during future gatherings. Reflecting on past successes and challenges would provide valuable insights and lessons for the future. Seven, support systems. Recognizing that some decisions might be challenging to implement, the community could develop support systems Incorporating to help those struggling like to fulfill stories, their commitments. Songs, this might include records, offering additional resources, way guidance from elders or mentors, to their or even collective and efforts to people. ensure that no one is left uh, behind. Revisiting these By embedding these practices into their culture, not only honor the community past, would strengthen also trust a and accountability, decisions, ensuring that the decisions made in gatherings are not uh, only respected, would strengthen but also realized in a way that benefits the entire allowing group. Them to build How do you think these practices would resonate with the community we've been shaping. The use of different forms of documentation. Uh, would they enhance the culture of trust and responsibility? Would also or is there anything else that might history accessible to everyone, regardless of their preferred learning style or role within the society? Uh, stories and songs in particular would bring these lessons to life, making them easier to remember and more engaging for the community, especially the younger members. Making the teachings and decisions accessible to everyone through diverse to methods, celebrate especially their stories and songs, their challenges, would be a 
and continually knowledge and truly internalized by all its members think would resonate most strongly stories and songs would be powerful tools for transmitting important lessons values and historical decisions they are naturally engaging and can be tailored to resonate with different age groups and learning styles. Choice. For instance, Having a song might tell the story of a past conflict and how it was resolved, embedding the community's values of mindfulness and responsibility in a memorable and emotional way. These, transcripts These stories and songs could be passed down through generations, becoming part of the cultural fabric that everyone shares. To further ensure that the community's the teachings are accessible, one and the oral traditions during the gathering. In addition By to written records, the community oral, might place a strong emphasis on oral traditions. Elders and storytellers Rock could regularly Rock. share tales that, that embody the community's values, are using well metaphors and symbols and that everyone can uh, relate this to. Approach uh, also these stories could be told during gatherings, celebrations, or even as part of everyday conversations, to making them a living part of the community's culture. Two, visual and performing arts. Some community members might, might learn best through visual or performative means. Murals, or sculptures, and, and other forms of visual art could depict significant events, decisions, or values serving as constant visible reminders. Performances like plays, dances, or even ritual reenactments could also bring these lessons to life, engaging the community in a collective experience that reinforces their shared values. Three, interactive learning. The community might also develop interactive ways of teaching, such as role-playing or participatory rituals. Uh, these methods would allow individuals to experience the lessons firsthand, making them more tangible and memorable. Integrated For example, a mock gathering like could be held to teach younger members how to navigate conflict would add a dynamic element, allowing them to practice the skills they'll need as they grow older. Four, uh, mentorship could allow members to pairing younger By personalized guidance and support, helping them internalize the community's teachings in a way that suits their individual learning style. Mentors could use stories, songs, or hands-on experiences to convey lessons, ensuring that each person has the opportunity to learn in a way that resonates with them. Uh, five, cultural artifacts, physical objects like totems, ceremonial tools, or crafted items could hold symbolic significance, representing the teachings or decisions made by the community. Traditions These alive. artifacts might be used uh, but also during rituals, community to placed in their communal spaces, or even kept in homes as reminders of the community's values and the lessons learned over time. Um, by using a variety of methods to teach and reinforce the community's values, These everyone, methods would make regardless of their role or preferred or learning style, and would be able to engage with and remember the lessons that guide their society. This diversity in teaching methods would not only make the lessons more accessible, How do you see but would also enrich the community's the culture, community ensuring that the values of mindfulness, empathy, and responsibility are deeply ingrained in every aspect of life. Um, do you think these approaches would effectively support the community's the community commitment to trust and, and accountability? Are How might they every be integrated into life everyday life to keep the teachings alive and, and relevant in shaping the society's future? By engaging members of all ages in role-playing, participatory writing, and other interactive forms of education, the community would ensure that these values are not just taught, but experienced firsthand. Role-playing scenarios could be designed to reflect real-life challenges, allowing participants to practice decision-making and problem-solving in a safe Engaging the community in role-playing and would help other interactive forms of, of education would indeed be a powerful way to ensure that the values are not only taught, impact of their actions on the community and the world around them. It would also foster and internalize participants. Uh, this experiential learning approach would allow members to practice applying the community's principles in realistic writing scenarios, would make the lessons more impactful and memorable. Role-playing scenarios could be carefully designed to mirror real-life challenges that individuals might face within the community. The idea For instance, everyone has a, role a scenario play. might involve resolving a conflict between neighbors over resources, this sense of ownership requiring participants to practice active listening, empathy, and finding a solution that benefits everyone.
generated. Another scenario could simulate a situation as, where as the community must decide how to respond to a sudden life. change in the, the environment, would like encouraging participants to think critically members, about collective as well responsibility as the and the long-term consequences of their actions. With their environment. These role-playing exercises would be particularly effective because they allow members to explore different perspectives and experiment with but as various solutions in a safe and controlled environment. All aspects of life. This is to help them develop the skills needed to navigate complex situations in real life, each person reinforcing the community's values through direct experience. Learning from the past while participatory writing could also How play a key role in shaping the society's interactive future. learning and By involving members of all ages in creating stories, songs, or even communal texts, the community would ensure uh, that everyone has a voice in preserving and evolving their cultural heritage. For example, younger members might contribute their own interpretations of traditional stories, adding new layers of meaning or adapting them to reflect current challenges. This would keep the culture dynamic and relevant while still rooted in its core values. Uh, that's a wonderful um, way interactive education methods like these would we also help build a sense of ownership and engagement among stories. community members. The community um, not when individuals actively past, participate in creating and practicing the teachings, and they're and more likely to feel connected to these interpretations and to the community as a whole. Uh, this sense of ownership would be crucial in maintaining the commitment to follow example, through on decisions a traditional tale and uphold the values that guide their society to integrate these practices into address, everyday life. To address One, temporary issues regular like workshops and gatherings. Technological advances. The community could hold regular this workshops where members engage in role-playing, participatory writing, or other interactive activities. Of these could be woven into the fabric of daily life, perhaps taking place during seasonal festivals, community meetings, or as part of educational programs. Two, intergenerational involvement. Their society. By encouraging participation from By all age groups, the community would foster past, a continuous exchange of knowledge and ideas. Present. Elders might guide the, the process, offering wisdom and context, traditions while younger members bring fresh perspectives and creativity. Them through any challenges Three community projects, collaborative How projects such as creating a communal storybook, a series of songs, or a mural values that reflects the community's values, could be undertaken regularly. These projects would serve as both a teaching tool and a lasting reminder of the community's shared goals. Four, celebratory events. After completing role-playing scenarios or participatory These writing exercises, would the community could celebrate with feasts, performances, or public readings. These events like would honor the learning tool. process they would and help reinforce the lessons about in a joyful, valuable setting. By embedding the these interactive forms of education into the community's daily the life, time, the values of mindfulness, empathy, and, empathy and responsibility would be constantly reinforced, not just as abstract concepts, but as lived experiences. Recorded, this approach shared, would not only preserve the, the community's culture, but, but actively shape its future, an integral ensuring that each generation is prepared to uphold and evolve inspire, the traditions that bind them together. How do you see these practices influencing the community's development over time? By combining the wisdom would they help maintain the balance between tradition and change as the society grows? The community would create a rich tapestry of stories and practices that not only reflect where they have come from, but also guide where they are going. Uh, this balance between That's preservation and innovation would be the rich tapestry of stories and practices created through these like interactive and inclusive methods would indeed serve as both a reflection of the community's past or daily and a guiding practices. force for its future. Reflection of the past, the stories, songs, and rituals would encapsulate the community's history, preserving the wisdom of the elders and the lessons learned through generations. By continually revisiting and engaging with these traditions, the community would keep their heritage alive, ensuring that the values of mindfulness, empathy, and responsibility stories, remain central to their identity. This connection to the past would provide a strong foundation, the always giving the community a sense of continuity and belonging. By guidance for the future. These As the community evolves, the, community the tapestry would grow would richer and more complex, elders, incorporating also new experiences, the challenges, and innovations. The interactive the nature of their educational the practices would allow the community to adapt the their stories and rituals to reflect 
value in reality and the principles ensuring that the teachings lives. remain um, relevant these traditions would serve as this dynamic member, approach would help the community navigate change while staying while true to their core values a creating a culture that is both resilient members and at forward interpretations and the tapestry of stories and practices would act foundation. as a living document ensuring constantly being woven and relevant by the community uh, each generation would add its own threads Contributing to a collective narrative that is ever evolving time, yet deeply rooted, incorporating in new elements that reflect the current uh, context. This process would not only maintain balance between tradition and change, change but, but also the empower the community to take an active role even as they face in shaping their yeah, future, the guided by the principles that have sustained them. In this way, the community, in this way, the community would be able to honor their past while confidently stepping into the future, always mindful of their connection to the world and to each other, and guide their actions. How do you the rich tapestry they create would be a source, source of strength, inspiration, and unity, times or events carrying them forward as they continue to grow and their thrive. Uh, is there a particular aspect of this evolving tapestry that you'd like to explore further? Perhaps how specific stories or rituals might be adapted as the community like faces new towards. challenges. Exploring a specific aspect of an evolving industry. Could you clarify which industry or area you're referring to? That way we can dive deeper into how you might explore and engage with it in the future. It seems like we might have had a bit of a mix up there. Um, if you're interested in exploring a specific industry or area, I'd be happy to help dive into that. However, if you want to continue discussing it looks the like evolving the tapestry of uh, the community we've been building together, or area you're curious we can also explore how they might adapt as they face into new challenges just or let changes in their have environment. Mind uh, just let me know which direction together. you'd like to go. Create a picture based on these these things you've been discussing. You have reached the message cap for GPT-4. Please try again later. Here's the image inspired by our discussion. It captures the essence of the living, responsive world intertwined with the community and their traditions. Feel free to the explore the details and let me know if there's Please anything else you'd like to explore or create. You can check out the images in our conversation history. You have reached the message cap for GPT-4. Please try again later. Um, it looks like we've hit the message cap for now. Feel free to return whenever you're uh, ready you to continue exploring or GPT discussing GPT any ideas. Try again. I'll be here whenever you need. You have reached the message cap for GPT-4. Please try again later.